Well, a cancer control advocate and executive director of Project Pink Blue, Ronsi Chidebe, is our guest tonight. Good to have you here, Ronsi. Thank you very much. Right. Talk to us about the state of cancer here in Nigeria. Is it getting worse or getting better? And what part really is Pink Blue playing in all of this, especially with the launch of the oncology uh, center. center? Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, honestly, uh, according to data from WHO, uh, the cancer incidence and mortality in Nigeria is actually increasing. If you compare the 2018 data and the 2020 data, uh, we're getting ready for an explosion. Because in 2020, we had COVID-19. So we had colleagues and friends and family members who had stage two breast cancer. And they could not access care because of um, COVID-19 pandemic. And when the uh, lockdown was called off sometime around August, September, their cancer had progressed from stage two to stage four or stage three and otherwise. So we need to take an intentional action to curtail cancer as it is today. Because whether we like it or not, the disease is just so close to every one of us. You know, so it's really increasing. 100,000 cases every single year. What that translates in breast cancer is that we lose about 30 women every single day and 26 women to cervical cancer every single day and about 15 men every single day to prostate cancer. Wow. These are data from WHO and this is happening every single day in Nigeria. And still more data. Only 90 clinical oncologists to Nigeria's 206 million yes. population. Yeah. What's the biggest challenge in this fight against cancer? And what exactly is the way out? Because there's still that issue of uh, death of medical personnel. Yeah, what you are see, you preferring as a way out? The way out is we need to really fund cancer the way we fund other health care. Like we have to intentional about it. Most people have sex cancer care abroad and they don't care. Because people just have this mindset that when you have cancer, you die. But the wealthy ones, when they have this cancer, they fly abroad. What about the death of medical personnel themselves? The, well, the let, 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 let's get in yes. the, the, the fact of the center. You didn't yeah, actually address yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. If you see, the center is really a very welcome development. Mm. And I want to commend the you know, ASR in Africa initiative. It's such a fantastic initiative. Because if you think about it, the Nigerian Sovereign Wealth Fund invested about 11 million US dollars in fixing the center we had in Lutz. And that had reduced medical tourism. Mm. So people don't have to, you can't believe that in the whole of Nigeria at some point, we had just only one cancer treatment center that was working. The entire Nigeria. In the entire country. Wow. So people have to fly to Ghana to go receive cancer treatment or Kenya. In fact, even mm. as we're talking across the country today, we don't even, we still have issues of what they call, is this what they call tumor marker reagent. It's still being imported all the way from South Africa. And sometimes it has to be imported from a direct flight because it has wow. a lifespan, it has to stay, the reagent has to stay before it arrives in Nigeria. So having investors like private philanthropists investing in Cantra is mm -hmm. commendable. It's done all over all the world. Okay. You know, UTMD Anderson Cancer Center is funded by an individual. Well, thank you so much, uh, Ronsei Chidebe. Yeah. Mm, thank, thank you very much. You.